Hi. Well, 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 I'm back. If you hear a lot of cars in the distance, it's uh, it's the evening rush. So a lot of traffic. I'm close to the main highway. I'm hunting for some shaga. My uh, my stock of shaga is shrinking every day because I. <laughs> I kind of like the chaga tea. Uh, I didn't like it at first, but it's like coffee. You don't like it in the beginning, but uh, it's getting better and better. And now I'm actually drinking a lot of that tea, so so uh, I need to find some more. Get it down. I brought with me a small axe. This is a very small axe. Um, I found it back at my father's place. It was my brother's, my younger brother. And I asked him if my son can get it, and he said yes. Yes, of course. And but the handle was very loose, the shaft, so I tried to fix it, but when I was pulling it out, it broke, so it wasn't good. So I have to had to make a new sh new shaft, new handle. I reshaped an older, bigger one, so I cut it in a little different uh, shape and and put it on. So. I'll try this now. Use it and see if uh, see if it's good. So, uh, so this is my son's, and it's actually an old Ultra Force. It says H B. That means Hultsbruck, and that's an that was a name before Ultra Force. So this is is a good. I think it's uh, always meant to be a child axe. And it's not very heavy, but it's good enough for a six-year-old. And you have axe for many years in this one. So, let's try this. It's a really nice chunk. Good. Well, it's a good, it's a good five pounds, but when it dries up. Uh, almost nothing left. <laughs> Let's go for the next one. Might be more a fair bit. No. Oh, it's a chunk. A little bit higher up, but nah, it's not worth the risk.
This is also one I harvested for uh, two years ago. And And you see the surface is very smooth and wet. This is smooth and not crunchy like this one because I use a saw during the winter. And this was uh, one flat end and it's broken up. So, so this is good. And I also have one big one under here. Wood. Yeah, looks great. This one too. I think I'll leave it like this. A lot, of, a lot of chaga left to regrow because this tree might have one year of good life left. So I can't wait too long before I go back and it will be gone. Well, someone else has been here. I was passing here last summer. And I could see that it was growing good. It's not real fresh cuts, but relatively fresh cuts. And I had this big, you see this, big axe marks. And that's not from me. So, someone have emptied my spots. Well, but we have to share, I guess. Uh, so my last, last chance now is this last tree I know of, if it's not dead yet. So, we'll see. Well, I didn't find the old tree, um, which I was looking for. But I find another one. This one. It's not big chunks yet. And uh, and uh, as you can see, the tree looks pretty healthy. Still got this crack during down the bark. And this will. Here's will. Uh, this is where the shaga will grow grow up on the outside. So. Now I know where it is, so I'll leave this for later. Usually I harvest the shara in the winter, because it's easier to access. You see, see for yourself this brush is terrible walking through. And it's also harder to see the shara lumps on the trees with all this vegetation. So winter time is really nice, but it's, sometimes it's really hard to get them off because they are filled with water and it's like chopping ice. So it's uh, 
it was a little bit easier this time and I think I have enough I have at least five six kilos on my back so uh, that's good I think usually I only find Shaga on trees that are not looking very good they are looking unhealthy and a little bit tired maybe not old but yeah they're looking old but they're not old so uh, that's where I find find Shaga so thank you for joining me on this Shaga hunt um, it's always a pleasure to have you with me and uh, very soon I'll be back with uh, another video.